My name is David Simmons and I'm the Artistic Director of the Congressional Chorus. One of the goals of our season this year is to present performances that are lively, innovative, and multidisciplinary that present choral music in a whole new light. Shakespeare Sings, a fusion of new music, theater, and dance presented by Congressional Chorus at the Church of the Epiphany in partnership with Joy Motion Dance Center and the DC Youth Slam Team. Bringing the uh, choral sounds together with the dance is really the thing that intrigues me the most. And I think in this particular production, actually we're taking it up a notch because there's also theater being incorporated into it. So it's a real great opportunity to experience some great artistic collaboration with some really great artists. Unlike a lot of stage productions, really the music is the focus. I got introduced to the chorus by coming to see the concerts, and I was so impressed with the level of talent and professionalism and just the range of repertoire that they do. Not only is the text so musical, but music is woven in and out of all of the plays. the Congressional Chorus is to make choral music accessible to people of every age. The DCU Slam Team is a select group of teenagers from the DC metropolitan area. These are teenagers who are passionate about spoken word poetry. I'm not supposed to, but are you willing to do it too? Shakespeare is universal. A lot of the inspiration was really taken from the music itself. It's all about getting like the feel from the music. The music is like the most important part. The more I give to thee, the more I have for love. This year will be our third year in collaboration with the Congressional Chorus. The process starts out with uh, David Simmons, of course the director of the Congressional Chorus, and I sitting down and meeting and him telling me a little bit about the music. So we get a sense of how the singers are perceiving the different songs, the way that they're feeling them, the phrasing. Youth dance ensemble dancers don't often have the opportunity to dance to live music. This presents young people with the opportunity to work with live singers and musicians and dance in an environment that they don't typically get the opportunity to do. The live music really adds an element to the performance. Uh, it really gets the dancers going. For me at least, it really surprised me and it brought out a new, kind of like a new, a new form of emotion for me. We're really excited to work with the chorus because this is different for us. The musicians, the singers are live. When it came specifically to the song, I've been through the storm so long, I knew that I was going to do a solo with it and I wanted to just hear the music, really make it mean something to me. Movement that seems to be aimed towards reaching and towards stretching as opposed to movement that is just really, really pretty just for the sake of it. My goal for the second half, I guess, of the solo is to contrast that and to really get even more intentional about the lyrics. There are a lot of high ceilings, high vaulted arches, and so the drums are going to have a very powerful impact on the sound of, and dynamics of the scene. So we really hope to see you there and I will be there in all my digital glory. Oh, no.